The Department of Migrant Workers is closely monitoring the condition of the two overseas Filipino workers who are in intensive care units and in critical condition in Kuwait due to the fire that occurred on June 12. Labor Attaché Manny De Maano and his team of welfare officers there, also OWA welfare officers, uh, the admin Arnel, uh, who are monitoring the situation, especially with respect to the two in ICU. So, pagdasal po natin, ano, they are in critical condition. According to the MW Secretary Hans Leo Kakdak, their priority now is these individuals and the repatriation of the remains of the three deceased along with the six Filipino survivors of the fire. But the priority at this stage is repatriation of human remains and the safety and well-being of the, of the two in ICU and the six who are safe. And they will also be uh, repatriated in due time. They have also spoken with the families of the two individuals in the intensive care units and the three deceased, in accordance with the President's directives to assist them in their current situation. The DMW is also considering the possibility of allowing the relatives of the two critically ill individuals to visit Kuwait. Meanwhile, the Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration or OWA and the Philippine Embassy in Kuwait are collaborating to process the necessary documents for the immediate repatriation of the remains of the three disease. And, and siyempre lang dinadaan sa proseso, there will be documents that will be needed at uh, yung pamilya na tatanggap dito, inaalalayan na rin natin para mapabilis yung kanilang pag-uwi. Although the OWA has not yet provided an exact date for when the remains will be repatriated, Administrator Arnel Ignacio assured that they are closely monitoring the situation. Uh, what we can promise ay uh, mabilis natin itong magagawa. Uh, tinututukan naman natin to at sa record naman po natin, palagay ko wala naman po tayong nababalitaan na tayo ay nagtatagal pagdating sa pagdideliver ng services. So makakaasa po, sa, makakaasa po ang ating mga kababayan na makakasikasa po ito agad. The government also ensures assistance for families of OFWs who are victims of fire, such as burial assistance for the deceased, livelihood, and scholarship programs. The Kuwaiti government has also promised financial assistance to OFWs, in addition to support from their companies. We are already a well-oiled machinery. Basta mayroong ganyan, nakapunta na yung regional offices sa kanika nilang pamilya, chine-check na yung mga status, at kung ano yung yung uh, status ng OFW sa OWA, yung corresponding na tulong, ibibigay na kaagad siya. Ryan Lacanlale, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.